Tamar! Easy, Spock. No need to go full human on me. What do you think this is all about? I do not know, but I suspect it will not be pleasant. <laughs> uh, Spock! Open new ideas here. I suggest we find weapons. Noted. If we get a shot, we need to find a way to free Tamar. Indeed, Captain. Stay alert, sir. I require assistance. It was a pleasure serving with you, Captain. Optimism, huh, Spock? Would you prefer that I lie to you and tell you that this is going to be easy? You know, I might. Then, Captain, this is going to be quite easy. <laughs> These weapons are pointless. Perhaps we should consider using the grenades. Nothing appears to be working, Captain. I can see that. Perhaps if we had another weapon. Oh, good idea. You didn't happen to sneak a photon torpedo into this place, did ya? I didn't think so. Captain, if we were able to combine the items that we do have, we may be able to create a weapon with significantly more firepower. Worth a try. Take as many grenades as you can carry. That thing isn't gonna go down easy. Things hard to aim. The balance of the weapon is off due to the excessive weight of the grenades. And we'll just have to get closer. I believe we are about to find out.
Spock, it's me! I'm your captain! I order you to stop! It's all right, Spock. The antidote. Looks like Bones got it to work. You're gonna owe him one. Dropping you a little care package. See if there's anything in there you can use. Looks like we will both owe him one, sir. There, let's go. What about Tamar? <sighs> Those lizard guys still have her, but we'll get our chance, I promise. Now let's go catch a shuttle. Most impressive, Captain. Well done, Captain. some cover. Yes, sir. If you mark targets with your tricorder, we should be able to provide you with some air support. Appreciate the help, Mr. Sue. My pleasure, sir. Ready and weapon. Fire now! Targeting your coordinates. Mr. Sulu. We have visuals on you both. On our way. Sulu, activate scanners. I want to know where that damn Helios device is. Scanning. The device appears to have moved onto one of their ships. Jim, readouts are going nuts over here. Something's happening. What the hell is that? I believe the Helios device has been reactivated. Tamar. It would stand a reason that they are using her to operate the device. Mr. Sulu, get us on board the Enterprise. We can't tackle those things alone. Aye, sir. Kirk to Enterprise. Perhaps they have gone back through the tear. Uh, Captain, you might want to take a look. What the hell is that? It appears that the Enterprise has been compromised. There's no way I can get us through that, sir. Maybe you can't, but I can. You are not considering. No, we are not considering. We'll signal when it's safe to come over. Aye, sir. Ready? Indeed. Let's go get our damn ship back. Mm. 
think you can. Yeah. The Enterprise isn't going anywhere until we deal with those things. You need some additional practice on your landing techniques, Captain. What are you complaining about, Spock? We got in, didn't we? Now let's get her back. Agreed. Sulu, we're on board. Good to hear it, sir. Any chance of beaming us over there with you? Yeah, and the sooner the better. I don't think I can take any more of Sulu's fencing stories. Scant. Oh, this is interesting. Corn take, 103. It's not often that engineering and medical need to consult with each other, but trying to figure out how these corn weapons work is just such an occasion. They're a curious mix of the mechanical and the organic, designed like a machine but grown like an organism, and altogether creepy. Yeah, they tend to have that going for them. But you might have something else going for you. If you are enjoying this adventure, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. And comments are mostly really welcome as well. Okay, travel through engineering to locate the turbo lift. Yeah, I think we're down here. Well, the Enterprise has been through the grinder. That's clear. The ammunition used by the Gorn weapons is curious indeed, as with the semi-organic design of the weapon itself, the ammunition appears to be generated the way a body generates new cells. The blasts are composed of bioenergy rather than lasers, which makes me wonder if they can ever run out of ammunition, the way our own weapons can. Interesting. Yeah, we've... Captain, if we access that terminal, we may be able to beam them over. All right. Beam time. Gentlemen, stand by for transport. Mr. Sulu, once you are on board, head immediately to the officer's quarters. It would be advantageous to our mission if you could discover a way to disable the Gorn's tethers. Understood. Bones, get to medbay. We may need your help with the infected. On it. Energize. Scotty, if you can hear me, please respond. We must consider the possibility that Mr. Scott is infected, or worse. Captain, I'm here. Good to hear your voice, Scotty. Back at you, sir. What's the status of my ship? She's in pretty bad shape, sir. Those greenies have the bridge, the warp core is down, emergency life support is holding, but I don't know for how long. Captain, if we are ever to return through the rip, it is essential that we get the warp core back online. It's at the top of my list, Spock. Mr. Scott, we're on our way to warp core. Mr. Mug, Lieutenant Ikaru Sulu. I don't trust Commodore Daniels. His reputation precedes him. Cadets at the Academy dreaded being assigned to his command. We all heard about him running his ships and starbases like his own personal fiefdoms. It's the old story about the officer that spends just a little too much time off-world. 
combine the loneliness of space with the loneliness of command and bad things are bound to happen. I just hope Daniels hasn't gone completely off the deep end. Well, he went off the deep end and he's permanently there. Let's see what we've got here. Set complete. Gorn take three of three. I don't even know what this is. A Gorn tricorder? A Gorn potato slicer? Do you have any ideas? I'd love to crack it open and see how it works, but I'm afraid I might trigger some kind of awful booby trap. I quite like having all of my fingers attached to my hands. Well, that does make sense. 4,000 XP. That's... that's... Uh, it's not bad. Go to the warp core control room. Accommodation. Clear the Gorn checkpoint without. Clear the Gorn checkpoint without provoking any enemy attacks. It's stealth again. Yeah, we have a lot of stealth in this game. Much more than I would have thought. to the control is through that door, but the hostile presence here is significant. No problem. goes. we can take over this entire room and have it backfire on them. This should work.
Forget to tell us something, Scotty? I was able to lock down the warp drive control room which kept those pesky buggers out, but... It'll keep us out, too. Aye, sir. But you should be able to override the locks using the main control panel in the center of the room. Understood. I don't know if it was a good strategy trying to get this one. Maybe. I can scan that. Won't do that now. Please work. This could be so good. We did it. Chief Engineer's Log Supplemental. This one's directed at the Chief of Requisitions at Starfleet, sitting with his feet up on his desk back in San Francisco in his lovely office overlooking the Golden Gate Bridge, having spent a leisurely afternoon denying, yet again, my request for resupply of vital components. It's not like this is the flagship of the entire fleet. Oh, what's that? It is? Well, bravo me then. I've got quite the prestigious post, haven't I? If only it meant mindless bureaucrats listen to me on occasion. Well, they do what they do best, which is sometimes nothing at all. You know what? I think we took out this entire room. Yeah? Feeling pretty good about that. Can we? We can. Okay. Let's see just how strong their security is. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. Okay. Another commendation done. Can I can I kill everything now? I tried to be nice. That didn't work. We tried. They wouldn't have it. Where are you, Spock? Always he's off doing his own thing. I just hope that thing, whatever it is, is good and worth doing. Okay, at least he's in the room now. Sort of done here. All right. 
Not sure if that was worth it. Yeah, I think... I think it was. I think we kind of had to do this. No time to waste. Rabbit, son. Yeah, he's actually coming over. He can move when he wants to. As you wish, Captain. Nice. I came from over here. Crewman, let's go. We found Keenzer, Mr. Scott. You're alive! Where have you been? That sneaky little bastard. If there's any problems with the warp core, he's your man. Keenzer, see if you can initialize the warp drives. Only one core will lower. We've got to get in there and fix him. We will need to clear the area of Gorn to let Keenzer complete his work. He's no going out until the coast is clear. Clear the lower core will go on. Stealth again? I feel like this is not the <laughs> Tiberius Kirk way. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Well, we are getting some stealthing done in this game. Wasn't expecting that. But I think we deserve a break after saving Keenser, so why not fill up on that coffee, click those like and subscribe buttons, and then we'll keep on pushing forwards.